Hello everyone. In this segment, we will discuss about another feature of PHDL that is called as PHDL procedures. Now, friends, in the previous lecture, we have seen how to define functions and how to return a single value using function. Let us start our discussion with defining procedures. Now, what do you mean by procedure? So, procedure is a feature that is provided by VHDL in order to return number of values. So, in case of function, it was uh, it was possible to return a single value, but if you want to return multiple values, we can use procedures. The basic difference between function and procedure is it can return the number of values. Now, in order to define the procedure, let us see syntax. It's quite easy. First, we'll write procedure, then procedure name and the parameter list in case of parameter list we should add all the input terms and output terms along with the entities or we can say that simply the range over which the functions has to be calculated then we we'll go for declarations of variable we will initialize the statements then we will quote the sequential statements and finally we will end the procedure name see it's quite easy to remember we have to define the procedure so return the name as procedure procedure name we will define its formal parameter list then we will declare the variable terms those are a part of our function or our program or uske baad mein hum begin karenge or sequential statements ko ab mein usme add karne ka hai and finally we will end the procedure name now let us see uh, one example in which we will actually observe how to write the procedure Again, we'll use the same quantity as vector addition using procedure. This is a code that we need to write it down. Here again, simple schematic is there. Here we have assumed four bit vector. Uh, see the same schematic and same function we have used in case of uh, defining VHDL functions in the previous lecture. Now, instead of taking four bit vector, we'll assume that it is an n bit vector. So the range over which all the calculation should take place will be from zero. And the upper limit will be n minus one. In that case, first we'll write the name as procedure addition four. You can write any name in bracket. Initially, we'll write the input terms. They are a comma b input bit vector. Now, in case of vector, we generally write the length. But here, I haven't written the name or length. We'll simply we have quoted this as input bit vector. Then, input carry as c in. <coughs> that we are written. Signal sum as output bit vector and final carry c out as output bit. Along with that, we have written n, which is going to be input positive. Now here, it will return multiple values in terms of signal sum and signal c out. That means it will return two values. Signal sum is bit vector and signal c out is bit. So it is returning multiple values. Once it is over, we'll declare the terms here. There will be a term called as carry, which will be variable. That is shown in the right side schematic as c1, c2, c3. They are going to be the variable term, which will be bit. So we have written variable c as bit. Then we'll initialize the statement. We'll return initial carry as c should be less than or equals to c. So maybe value zero or one, it will fetch the values directly. Then from the range zero to n minus one, that means for i zero to n minus one, we have to add the two bit vector. So I return first C out as it should be less than or equal to again the same equation A i and B i or A i and C i or B i and C i. It is as good as A b plus B c plus A c. In this way, we can generate C out. Similarly, we'll write the sequential statement as sum, which is uh, A x or B x or C. Now these computations will take place from the range zero to n minus one. Once it is over, whatever the Initial carry is there. We'll return it with C out. So whatever the term C out has been generated, it will be written to C in, and that will be written to C. In this way, finally we'll end the loop. So all the iterations will take place in the loop, and we'll get the final carry as C out. As C out should be less than or equals to C that is being generated. You can see it here. The first statement in begin we have written C should be less than or equals to C in. Then C in should be less than or equals to C out. And finally, we are writing C out should be less than or equals to C. That will be our final carry that is being written. And finally, we'll write end the procedure. That is end addition four. So in this way, one can define uh, addition of vectors, 
maybe any other combinational or sequential circuit using procedure this is only just a schematic or just a simple representation of how procedures or functions can be represented i hope you understood the concept of procedures also thank you very much